Hello, hello. This video, we are going to start by talking about Alice. What about Alice? Let's say Alice is our friend. She loves traveling. If I were to tell you this sentence, she has been to Paris. Alice has been to Paris. Or Alice has gone to Paris. What's your understanding about these two sentences? Do you know what the difference is? If I tell you, Alice has been to Paris, that means she has visited Paris before. And she's now probably in Malaysia with us. So when you use has been to or have been to, you are talking about the person experience. In this case, we are talking, we are talking about Alice's traveling experience that she has been to Paris. She has visited Paris before. What about has gone to, have gone to? Alice has gone to Paris. What does it mean? It means she's still there, probably still enjoying there, still traveling there, and we cannot find her anywhere in Malaysia now. That is when you use has gone to or have gone to. Let's look at another example, talking about our parents. First scenario, our parents have gone to the shop. If there's any guests coming to our house looking for our parents, they won't be able to see them because they are still in the shop. Second scenario, our parents have been to the shop. I guess now we will be able to find a lot of food in the fridge. I'm sure that by now, you'll be able to differentiate between these and this. When you use have been to, you are talking about someone have visited a place and this person has come back home. When you use has gone to, you are talking about someone has traveled to some place and he has yet to return. I guess you probably have another question. How about went? When do I use went? What's the difference between has gone to, has been to and went? When you use went, went is in past simple tense. When you use when, it's because when you have a specific time in the past. For example, Alice went to Paris last year. Our parents went to the shop three hours ago. Then that is when you use past simple, you use went instead of have been to, have gone to. There is another useful information which I would like to let you know. Um, since we talk about have gone to, have been to, they are actually in present perfect tense. When it comes to asking question using present perfect tense, uh, asking yes no question for example, have you been to Malaysia? Have you tried Lassi Lokma? Have you tried bungee jumping? Have you visited the KL Tower? All these questions um, they are very good question uh, for you to engage in a conversation, especially when you start meeting a new friend or maybe you meet a foreign friend that um, that uh, this person uh, travel in Malaysia and then you would like to carry on a conversation, a very co casual conversation, asking, asking about this person's experience. Because we don't know whether this person has tried or has not tried certain activity before so for us we usually ask question ask yes no question by using present perfect tense 
So if this person were to answer you, for example, if you ask uh, a foreign friend, have you tried Nasi Lemak before? Then this foreign friend uh, could answer you, yes, I have tried, it's delicious. No, I have not tried before. Maybe you could bring me there. If this person were to answer you, yes, I've tried before, this person could say, oh, I tried it last week. It was really delicious. So when he has this experience and then he remember when actually he tried it, he can easily answer you in past simple tense. In conclusion, I hope that through this video, you will be clear about what's the difference between have gone through, have been to, together with, went. And also, how useful it is if you are able to ask yes no question by using present perfect tense in order to uh, to engage in a conversation by asking someone experience whether this person uh, has tried something before has done something before so i hope you like this video you find this video informative thank you for watching if you have any suggestion and question Welcome to leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.